Go greetings, I am lies and I use she her. And I am scandal and I use they them. And let's play a game together. together. Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty, let's do this thing. We can. Still, it's much too hot in here. Dressed like this, I... Do you not have the air conditioning? Which I imagine you don't in that day that would at all. Be ridiculous. But also going, what time of year is it? I uh -huh. wonder. Oh, oh, it did actually take us back a little bit. I am entertained, because remember we did this with the, you have to... Oh, that's, oh, we walked in. Yeah, the so. whole world is full of math. Yep, 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 It yep. is. All within my reach. Are you feeling like it's more in, within your reach now? Pretzels. Because uh, you remember you ran just to go try the blackboard to see what would happen? Yeah, it was, the, it was, it was the I need to run home and write this down from the library. Yeah. Remember that. Hmm. Mikik and Worm argued. Whether the result of the equation was already found or not. So in a given time frame, a change can... Oh dear. Oh, okay. So this is something mildly different. God, I don't even know. Okay, so this one, so many of the choices in this, this one are so abstract. And going, I don't know if it's supposed to be obvious that like, this is clearly it. I, I, or not. I try it. Collapse? No. Well, yes. But... Ugh. In a given time frame, the change can... Okay, thinking harder. Mm, back this way? Well, that's... Oh, there was... Unless you go try it again? That's no, it's the, the same, same thing, one, so try it so... in a smaller one. I'll say, so let's try one. this. Be ongoing! Uh, yes. Uh, at the moment of observation, the change can either be final or ongoing. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Yes. Nice. Okay. Neat. The falling leaf doesn't stop falling just because I stop looking at it. <laughs> Okay, if it. a tree falls, falls in the, the forest, forest. I yeah. know, right? Is it, and no one's around to hear it? Does it, you know, does it actually make a sound? Hi, if a tree starts falling in the forest and you look away, is it still falling? Right? But where would the change lead then? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. I... Uh, Nicole! I, um, I know what this looks like. Yes. Hmm. The last few weeks, I saw a mister going into your apartment. A lot. You are with a man. Damn it. I thought you were just having an affair with an impossibly handsome man. I love how everyone I... is like, you are fucking hot as a dude. You are brilliant as a dude. The mathematicians in the, the, the radius aren't really angry about your math skills. They're just angry that you're so much goddamn I hotter than them. I wondered if you were supposed to change eventually. I thought this was going to cause us a problem here soon. I was kind of waiting for it, to mm -hmm. be honest. But I also felt like she was like, I don't go home and immediately go, ah, I need to get out of these clothes and look like me again. I'm just, I need to math. Also, the thing that bothers me is they're using, like, still the, th like, you're either using a child or you're using an adult, because the whole point is to be found out. Mm -hmm. It is not just about continuing to pursue or, you know, she's fine with this. Like, the, the it has to be I also kind of assume specific. We locked our door. I did too. So I that someone understand. would knock and we would have a chance to pretend we weren't here or try and change or give ourselves up. This is really weird. And I've always found this sort of thing to be very strange. But again, I wonder if they're going to be like, well, you see, we won't put a relationship in here because we have to. Because we won't make it about relationships. See, not everything's about heterosexual romance. Also, very, very tiny child. Because given the height it of that child, you have maybe a seven year old kid or, you know, and going. Hot man. Impossibly handsome man. Oh my god. There he is. There he was. You I came to ogle him. I don't understand, didn't understand why you wouldn't introduce me. It would have been difficult. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Nicole, give me a moment to change. Then I'll try to explain. Why? Also, yeah. the artist knows, as far as we know. Yeah. That was so weird and abrupt. I still don't though. know what happened with that. That was very bizarre. Nothing happened. I and extremely like... abrupt of going, that did not go as I had hoped. Okay. I'm not playing dress up. I'm not a trans man. Wait, what? 
You're not? Well, if you are a trans man, you're not playing dress up either. No, not ah. at all. But a lot of people would go, accuse you of going, you, you, you're playing dress up. You're pretending. It's true. Right? Emma? Um. You're really hot as a guy, and I don't know how to feel about that because it you? means you're really hot. Uh huh. Period. Period. It just means you're hot. It's a thing. Yes. If someone changes their gender pre presentation and you go shit, they're hot. It means they were always hot. It kind of does, <laughs> but also at the same time too. So I have largely, in my experience, what I tend to see is a lot of people going, "Oh God, who is that person? They are very hot." And I go, I feel like in some ways what people are reacting to is basically an expectation of something has more of a, a androgynous yet masculine bent to it. And so I've always been frustrated by that. Where they're like, here is this woman and she's not very attractive, but then you make her a man and suddenly she's more appealing. And I'm like, that's a weird commentary that I feel like deserves more unpacking. So I was gonna say, for me, the real light basics, and I'm gonna say the real light basics yeah. of that are in our society, when men have more power, they are more socially valuable than yes. women and they have more options and opportunity, and when they are presented in anything in general, right. they are seen as more valuable, more important, more powerful. Yeah. There's more fan fiction about men than women because they're more compelling characters because of the time spent writing them, by and large. And also their access and their ability to do things, which so, is power. So, when, when someone presents more masculine, we are socially trained to see them as more powerful, which is more attractive because power is safety, in mm. theory. Yeah. So there you are. Or power is just ability to do shit too. Like power it's represents freedom. a lot of things. It's yeah. freedom and safety and comfort and ease. It's all those things. Mm -hmm. You have choices when you have power. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you want me to call you then? <laughs> I'm still Emma. Emil feels right. I don't know. Oh, you get an option to think about your gender narrative. Are you actually really thinking about it, though? I don't. Because she literally just goes, I'm not playing dress up. It's like, so if are, she says, are you actually? If she says, I'm not playing dress up and saying Emil feels right, then that's a, I feel like I'm more this person. But again, she never really talked about going, I did, um, did, 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 did the, the basically, I don't know. It's I feel like this is very simplistic. Like this is surface level. <laughs> Oh, I changed clothes and it feels so much better. I but mean, she it also, allows you more things again. She also didn't have any uh, gender euphoria or this feels like no. me. It's a, this is hot. I am concerned about taking this off. I hope they don't notice. Yeah, no, that's why I'm like, this is really surface level and I want I'm getting, it. I'm still Emma, but it feels very, this feels very interesting. It does. And I'm kind of curious, but also I don't want to be disingenuous to sort of the idea that we've kind of talked about. And again, like I said, the previous stuff doesn't line up as well. Now that doesn't mean that everybody has a really clear cut process. It can be one of those things going, I started doing this thing for a very practical reason, right? Mm -hmm. What I consider to be very practical, something that I just wanted to do because whatever access I needed, blah, 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 etc. the sexism going on here, right? And then you experience this, this, this thing that you're doing and you're really going, holy cow, I actually feel really good about this. You can change your mind as you go along. I mean, people you talk about it. You could also go, I like the level of access this gives me. It feels very comfortable. It feels very good. Uh-huh. I like the freedom this gives me. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't want to say that this is bad, but this feels sort of... Also... I don't know. Oh, since if never you look at this... society, I was going <laughs> to say, there is something <clears throat> more valuable about a stunningly beautiful man than an attractive woman. Yeah. Just gonna say. Actually. Which, again, I'm like, there's a complicated conversation you could have here. And I was just like, so we, them. this is completely blind, so this is why we have long, basically, conversations about stuff like this, because we, we don't, don't know where they're going. No, I have no idea. Now, like, I don't this know. feels right to me when speaking to her, also, going, she's never even heard the name Emile, so Emile feels right, needs is also, to be part of a larger conversation. Yeah, you'd have to be like, when I, when I am a man, I dress up and I call that persona Emile. But you know, I think I actually really like being called Emil. Emil feels right. Mm -hmm. So you could do that. And sometimes you can have fairly simplistic conversations with kids, and kids get it really quickly. Kids are brilliant. Uh huh. I don't care. Like, people in general are smart. Like, we are smart creatures. The kids, because they have a, a more, a less indoctrinated and therefore less narrowed mind, tend to be brilliant. Yes. They're just really cool. I'm still Emma. But I feel I'm more than that. 
Hmm. I like how you have the mouth. Blast. I know. Hmm. <laughs> he knows a little, it's okay. Mm. Limitations of the engine, it's alright. Mm -hmm. Oh no, and that is a cute smile. I'll call you M. Oh, except for you don't know the name Emil. So, this... So that would work that's really said, well if you knew the name Emil. So, remember how I said this feels a little bit abrupt? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is also indicative of going... Again, we didn't want to have the lead-up of her having to explain to this child what was going on. You just now have to assume that she has explained who that is and what the name is. Even though I'm like, why wouldn't you show that? This seems like an interesting character thing. I Except for also, this sounds like kind of the beginning. Like, it didn't lead in as if we've been talking. Mm -mm. No, was... I know. And so the, I think you'd need a different, uh, a slightly different lead-in when you cut from the apartment to the stairs to go, you know, and you know, sort of, sort of a wrap-up and find oh, more conversation. Yeah, exactly. That which could work. And then you could go from here. Yeah. But it's really cute that I'll call you in. But if you don't know the other name, how does that just, just roll? Ah, uh, no matter. Uh, that's uh, what you both have in common. <laughs> Except if we haven't you don't know talked that. about okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a little shoe horn. Um. <laughs> I like that. The music I, is really cute. I wish I could go and live with Uncle Leos again. Oh, you are connected to the other story. Uncle Leos? Who's Leos? Um, Leos was one of the names in, in one of the other ones. I can't. Like, I think... It's okay. It sounds super freaking familiar. I can't. I don't remember. So I'm... It's okay. We tried it, but he was too busy running... Oh! I was gonna say, it was the guy on the phone, the right? on the phone. I was gonna say, I thought it was from the violin one. Yeah, okay. It is. We tied, but he was too busy running the end. I'm sure he would love for you to stay with him. If it were possible. I know. Maybe someday. And then my parents can right? stop being stupid. <laughs> yes, and trying to or set just, off a governess on my butt or a Or just keep being stupid and I won't need a governess. Right. <laughs> right. The little eyes. <laughs> also, I'm just this child going, an impossibly handsome man! Sus! sus. <laughs> <laughs> Men are not hot, so sus. <laughs> also, though, at the same time, I find that to be deeply funny. Going, an impossibly handsome man of going, is that a judgment going, why would you have someone who is having, like... A relationship. Uh, see, is it also, you were having an affair with someone. Mm. Like what was it? Like again, I'd be curious as to know why that particular language choice, or is that all that that child knows? Um, affair doesn't have to mean you're cheating on anyone. It's just the thing you're doing. Oh, that's true. Yeah, like the two of you are just just having an affair. You, you we had an affair years ago. It doesn't mean there was anyone else involved. Okay. You can just... That's just how I'm so used to that. It's true. That's why I'm like, well, I they were like... having an effect. Okay, so today I was trying to look up an art reference for someone, you know, doing a toast, right? They're lifting their glass, doing a toast, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, is if you just search toast, you get a lot of bread. A lot of <laughs> huge, crispy bread. And there's no distinction between them unless you put other words around it. And if you get giving toast, doing toast, you know, at lifting toast, you still get a total mix. And um, it's a sort of thing like an affair. An affair is either cheating on someone or just having a fling with someone. Or as you're going to say, it's also um, an event. It's also an event. An we went and to the, affair, the nightly affair. And if you search affair, you, I, you, you like your, your esoteric older, you know, we, we, we had it, you know, we threw an affair, we had an affair, we're scheduled to go to an affair. Right. You know, is an event. Um, it's going to be an older term. But yep. then also you're, you're mostly going to get cheating visuals these days. Yes. And stuff. Is my partner having an, an affair? affair? Kind of thing. How'd you tell if your partner is having an affair? But yeah, an affair is literally just we're, we're having an interlude. Yeah. Where are your parents? New York. Being stupid. <sighs> Nicole, do you understand why I dress as a man sometimes? Did I. I know that I have feels about it. I think so. And I won't tell. Everyone else can just think you're having an affair. You can do what you want to either. Oh I... no. I feel trapped in my position and even in this small as young as I am, I understand being trapped. I that would be That, that is... is that is a deeply insightful child, but sometimes also I get very I feel sometimes like people go the wisdom of children, they use it a lot. When a lot of kids actually don't always comprehend everything that's coming their way. They know sometimes that things are wrong, mm -hmm. but they usually... They don't always have language for it. Yeah, exactly. I say, and the thing is, is 
I, I have rarely met a young person who understands that they are trapped in words, even though they certainly understand in intellect and emotions, even by the age of three, that they are trapped. Yeah. That they're not allowed to go outside without adult permission. They're not allowed to open a door or get a piece of bread without adult permission mm -hmm. for the average household that I've been in with young children. Yeah. You know, that they need permission for everything, they don't have much agency. And a lot of what I have come to understand as the terrible twos, which a lot of people say was well, actually three and four, um, from the, you know, babysitting and exposure I've had of, you know, relatives and friends and things, is really a level of, I am trying to express agency because I have developed the ability to, you know, locomote and interact and explore. And I am being stopped constantly by these beings, my parents, that are more powerful than me. Uh -huh. And I cannot do anything about it. Yes. And there is a level of immediately being trapped as a child, especially with the child rearing that I've seen in America, the only place I've ever lived. Right. Um, and so, but again, kids don't generally have the words for it. Mm -hmm. And so, I like this, but I feel where my friend is coming from of the brilliant child who just sees, you know, wisdom beyond their ears. Yeah, I, again, I'm not saying that kids cannot be aware and kids can't pick up on other things, and also that they aren't listening to your conversations. Hell, excuse me. It's just a very specific instance that's going to come up with this. Yes. Now, Hads, you can't be who you are. Hmm. Who you feel you are. Which is a mathematician. It shouldn't matter if you have a dream. I have a dream. Everyone dreams. I've got a dream. I've I just got... want to see the floating lanterns gleam. Oh, yeah. sorry. I've got a dream. I just want to put the numbers in the scheme. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should have the right to try and make their dream come true. My dream is to live at the inn with my uncle. Look, there's little Gustav. Who's that? Who's, who's, who's little Gustav? Gustav? We've never seen Gustav. Who's Gustav? I... Explain. Oh. His name means warrior. I wonder if he dreams of being a soldier. Why? He can be, if he wants to. Um, sometimes uh, people make mm. your name very much about what they want to sort of yeah. direct you to be, or lead you to be. That's they don't call it grooming, but parents often groom their children for a specific future. Oh, so you know what that reminds me of? So there's a there's a video that I was watching from, um, I believe they're called Jesse Gender okay. on uh, YouTube, where they are a trans YouTuber, and she actually talks a lot about basically gender and presentation, but she's a huge Star Trek fan, okay. right? And one of her recent videos, though, was actually about her like Kayla Gwynn and the power of names. Okay. Um, and also talking about basically what it's like to uh, basically be dead named, but also in the, the the experience of going, what is your true name, your true self? Of also talking about the trans experience of what electing you, to have say, your own name to find what truly fits you. I say, what does your name but, mean? And then she goes over one particular section where she's like, actually, a lot of people, they're like, they've actually done a lot of studies about there are various different scientists who go, hey, we've discovered, for example, um, that uh, women who have basically what's more masculine coded names tend to actually get to be like judges. So when they're lawyers, they actually get to be in higher positions. But if they have more feminine names like Hazel or Caitlin or whatever, they actually don't ever get those positions. It is way more common though for really like Jody, you know, or what, like it's just something that's short and strong mm -hmm. and considered to be more masculine as right. it were. Uh, where they get more opportunities and they do talk about going like it does they're like there is a primed sociological response that we have in all of our different societies for going that's why you look for feminine coded names or you say well this one's feminine or that one's masculine because it does actually inform the ways that we treat each other i see it's sort of like the whole like cgp gray the ballad of tiffany or whatever uh-huh yeah you know, and going we see this name as a specific Modern, archetype of yeah. a person and that archetype is is assumed to be certain things it's like it's like when um, like there's there's a bunch of like basically just social memes that happen in person that aren't necessarily online as much about you know the oh well all Britneys are like that right you know and it's like there is this very strong connection between yes you're given a name you know because your parents may like the name or you know think it's cool or whatever but there's also a level of people believe certain things about a name in, whether inside the names like primary definition of going yes it means loving it means sweet or the social definition oh. of going yeah all of these kind of people are just vapid or 
Or another thing, or the Jess- whole. I was going to say the phenomenon of Karens. I was also going to say, though, all, uh, at the same time, the uh, concept that Jesse also brought up was this idea that you're going to be the continuation of whoever you were named for. Mm. Like, you are going to continue being, you know, Eric the Third because you're the lineage of Eric's, you know, you're you're calling forward that mm. history. You must be like them. I do, I do love the thing, though, that I've run into a couple of times, and I'll, I'll finish this segue real quick, um, because I want to keep going. Um, but, like, there's this thing where people go, if you ever meet someone, and they just seem like their name is fucking perfect for them, like, oh my god, your name fits you so damn well, I couldn't picture you as anything else. That person may be trans, and their name fits so well, because they picked it themselves. They might have! It's so cute. Alright, he can be, if he wants to. No, he told me he dreams of desert mostly. Uh, Why must only men go to war? I don't know. A uh, good question, actually. Yes. Also, why do people go to war at all? Why must anyone go to war? Anyone who has gotten on the wrong side of Frau Kunz, Kunz here. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Careful. I like woo. Careful. Would not want to meet her on a battlefield. Uh, it's true. I'm going, I will beat you with my hand basket. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Miss Dor- Dorfel. 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 And the possibilities, uh-huh. they line up. She's a music student. I bet she dreams of playing in a big concert hall someday. Is that... Is Miss Dorfel the violinist? Do we live in the same damn building? I don't know. She has a talent women are allowed to have. But did you know only men can be first violin in an Maybe orchestra? Maybe it was her. I think that was her. Oh, dang. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. So they are pulling them together a little bit more, stitching her in at least a little bit. Now the painter has painted her, and she lives in the same building. But we haven't addressed what the painter painted. It's true. I'm still... I think we should have lots of dreams. And all of them should come true. That's really cute. That would be wonderful. Oh. Hmm. Wouldn't it? I think the other thing that's also interesting in regards to, so it's particularly children in fiction. So we've mm. talked about this a lot, that children tend to be, in our experience, and I will even just say for me, I feel like they're exploited a lot. Basically, the imagery of a child is exploited for very specific things, which whether it's uh, the concept of innocence or naivete, or basically being the unbidden wisdom, you know, filled guide that literally doesn't also understand I say. what they're saying, but, you know, knows exactly what to say. And there is, like, the kinds of stereotypes kids are used for, I feel like unfortunately leads to also a lot of people going, you know, here's I'll have this child, they'll be my best friend because they'll know what to say and they'll be there and they'll listen to me attentively and give me good stuff, you know. Uh But it's like, you're not, they're not whole people. What I was going to say is, in my experience, children used in fiction are most commonly, and this of course is not everyone because it's most commonly, and what I, based on my reading of, uh, my reading and exposure, Mm -hmm. used as a plot device. They're most commonly used to specifically drive pieces of the story forward and or to to um, exemplify something rather than to be a complete character. Mm-hmm. And especially a Ooh, sudden a child, thing, yeah. I say especially a sudden child in a world of adults is usually there to define someone else's character, not to be there for themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it? And again, it's not to say that you can't use those elements as like... Everything is a choice in fiction. Everything. Everything in a story. Everything in this story is a choice. You had to choose to draw those things. So it is meant to be a part of the story. And if it takes basically using a stereotype or a trope of going, hey, children mean this and here's the associations we're building on that, I think it's just what you do with it. What I would say is it's not bad. Yes. It's just something that is so often there, I get tired of it. Yeah, and it, yeah. is, it is one of the, the only usages. And when it is when it is nearly all of your representation of children characters, it gets exhausted. Okay. So yeah. not, not bad. Oh, yeah. Just overused. So you know what kills me, though? Mm. Okay, so I love this. People go, ah, the wisdom of children, because no other adults understand. You're like, but you're an adult. Mm-hmm. You understand that this isn't okay. There is another fucking adult out there that will understand you. It's true. You actually, like, I, 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 I totally agree with you, but it just occurred to me, I was like, hang on. Everybody says, oh, no, they just, adult, you know, adults never get me. I'm like, you are an adult. There are other adults out there, I betcha, 
who will totally understand what the yes. fuck you're if talking. If you are an adult, you just going, have to find only them. a child can understand me. It's like it, uh, no, it, it, there's got to be uh, another adult like you. Yeah, no, no. Then that, that's the other thing too that sometimes people have actually talked about. So they talk about you know you have the people going, oh, I just can't meet people. They're like, do something weird. What? Change your, your social schedule. circle. Okay, do so something else. So there's this book that I mention um uh, both on stream and in our videos reasonably frequently, and it's called This Is How. It's not a perfect book, um, but it's uh, but the author he's he's got some really interesting ideas about changing your life, and it's not self actualization, and it's not you know um, self empowerment, it's not visualization in the power of the mind. It's literally physical changes to your life when you're stuck, and it, it covers everything from like like I I am you know deeply wanting to unalive myself mm -hmm. to I am profoundly just stuck in a, a a home situation or a social situation or a I am deeply lonely and I can't find anyone everything mm -hmm. okay and the thing is is it's all about changing something and a lot of it has to like focuses on the crux of people's lives are very very small yes most people's lives are freaking tiny they really only go to the regular places they go like so many people unless they specifically i travel right then they really like born and live and die in their hometown Basically, yeah. or they move once for college and never go anywhere else yeah and like they're 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 the equivalent of their google map routes uh -huh. is the exact same six places every single month and nowhere else yeah actually absolutely which is really fascinating so uh -huh. i can even say that so i've actually lived a part of um, like a lot i've moved greatly across the country right mm -hmm. and i knew people aggressively who were just like wow you guys what i well i've never left the you know the county uh -huh. and i was just like and they haven't. What? And most of them have never left the county. And also, even if your schedule is uneven, you still tend to have routines for like uh -huh. when you shop, where you shop, what kinds of new things you try. <gasps> Doing it's... something wildly out of character for yourself, such as what I will do is go for a walk in a part of town I've never been to, or I will go into a store that I've never even thought about before, or I will go to an event that I is off-putting to me even. It's... You will have something different happen in your life. Absolutely. It's actually, though, one of those things that um, they've even uh, made to be a part of advertisement. So this is a little bit further, but in regards to like mathematicians. Mm -hmm. So they actually, um, advertising companies hired mathematicians to try to figure out an algorithm in order to advertise better to people. Right? Oh, so God. And it, they could. And they could. And they've done it. They are so predictable. They really are. Honestly, if you ever feel like you're stuck in a rut, I am not kidding pointedly decide to do something different and try doing that for a little while even if it's like a couple like a few weeks of just every few days or whatever just go do something else something weird something yes. very different than what you usually do if you're like well i don't normally take a i haven't been taking walks that's not the same as i never take a walk yes you know or the i but never have gone to the also, public pool or whatever be honest about how much shit you actually do so if you ever go god i just don't know what i'm doing or i can't make friends or whatever else examine what you actually do during your days and really be honest about it going like god do How i spend much? 40 hours every week just papping around on youtube and you know I'll whatever say, else how or... much do i actually expose myself to new people yes exactly if you never I, I can never meet anyone how much do you actually expose now, yourself to now obviously people? we're in a pandemic so please take care of yourselves at least say, at the time this of may recording. not be the most timely suggestion on the other hand go to new internet spaces yeah you can do um, all these activities essentially ooh. you can mirror all of them online I was also going to say, depending on what you do, you might actually be able to find different online, either like Skype groups or groups where they're like, we have verified that everyone here has gotten the shot. So if you've gotten the shot, then you can go hang out with them. I say there's meetups that do there's that There's meetups too. that do it. Yeah. So what's your matter? You look funny. I'm hilarious. What we become, it doesn't have to be a single dream. You're right. In a change... Goodness gracious, in a change, the destination could be a set of states. Yes, it could. Uh, Nicole, you are a miracle. Ha, I am. Nicole! That face is amazing. Honestly, the pixel art in this game, whatever else I have experienced, pixel art in this game is beautiful. It's magnificent. I love it. Magnifique. Where are you? It's time for your story lesson! Huh. Story yuck! Bleh. 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 Runs away again. I wonder if we're getting to the, like, the end of this story. She done, did, she just, bye. She done run. Hmm. I'm running, running. A change has a beginning and an end state. What if I can't see the end? But what? 
ask but what what because she invalidate all of her things hello emma i think she need to go right now could no go go right i'm I'll go, i will i will i'm looking right Great share right nothing there right all right <laughs> i'm trying to get to the blackboard i can't just scroll over i have to move somewhere yeah, no you don't have to click on the chair no. <laughs> I, sometimes it's like it's not clear oops sorry i damn it emma you saw it is what it said <laughs> perfectly formed remember the destination state can be... Oh, God. It can be multiple things. There we go. It can be multiple things. The destination state of observation can be a set of states. Yes. Is yeah. that it? Is that your equation? Of course. Uh. If I turn away while watching the falling leaf, it could land. Yes. But it could be picked up by a gust of wind or disintegrated into dust. Or a dog comes along and bites it out of the air. Yeah, that could happen too. That was fun too. <laughs> or a person, a child comes and picks it up. Uh-huh, yeah. Not too likely, I'm afraid. Or if you're me, an adult comes along and picks it up. All right. Pretty leaf! Ha! <laughs> or it lands on someone who suddenly walks by. Or it, like, a car drives under uh-huh. it. Mm. Oh, Emma, you're almost there. Almost there. Right, 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 right. Several hours later, we get a lion. Oh uh, no! Meanwhile, well, you know what? We're, we're gonna actually... have to figure out what happens in the meanwhile. Ah uh, yes. So, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you like, we do. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you are having a good time with us. It actually does help us a lot in regards to the YouTube algorithm. It tells YouTube that we are an active channel. People like what we do, and they interact with it. Um, and then, therefore, it is more likely to recommend it to other people. So, um, no obligation, but it's really nice when you guys do. We also appreciate it if you guys would like to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon and our Twitch and our Twitter and our Tumblr and our Come Instagram. on over and say hi. And say hi. Say, say hi. hello. 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 Also, please feel free to go check out those places simply because we have goals that we are looking forward to uh, getting achieved so that we can, one, update update our gear, and two, also play other games for y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what? I have been Scandal. And I, I have been Lies. And, and it was great playing with you. Bye! Bye.